Hi, I'm Tom Lum, and this is a neural network turning a guitar into a piano in real time. Now you may have seen software before that can take a guitar waveform and turn it into a MIDI note and then play a MIDI piano, but that's not what's happening here. We are literally taking the guitar waveform and bending it into a piano waveform on the fly using a neural network. Which means we can do a lot of cool analog things that you can't normally do with MIDI. What does that mean? Well, let's find out. Also, what is this? Who are you? Where are we? Why does your hair length keep changing in this video? Uh, it's because this took a year and a half to make, and goodness gracious, if I'm not gonna show you that process. Neural Network Guitar Pedal version 8.1. Neural Net Guitar Pedal version 6.0. Version 5.2. Version 4.2. Oh my god! Version 3, take one. Neural Net, take one. First live test. Here we go. Hi, I'm Tom. I play instruments. Not like super well, I'm not professionally, uh, but I do also make uh, neural networks and weird computer things. I don't know anymore! No! Again, not super well and not professionally, uh, but one year ago I had an idea. A neural network is a kind of algorithm that's meant to simulate uh, actual neurons. So it takes an input of numbers and runs it through a bunch of calculations to produce an output of numbers. But unlike a traditional algorithm, we can compare our output against what we were expecting to get and then adjust the network accordingly so it can effectively learn in, out, adjust, in, out, adjust, until we get the output that we expect. And this style of learning is supposed to be based on how brains actually learn, specifically heavy in learning. So what's to stop us from making the input a note on a guitar, which can be broken down into a bunch of numbers, and then training it to output the same note on a piano? Then, in theory, we could plug a live guitar into the neural network and... Okay, so it's not that easy. But now, after a lot of trial and error, of course, uh, the network sounds like this. Now, the wild thing to remember is we're not controlling MIDI with the guitar. We're not finding the pitch, converting it to a MIDI note, and then outputting a sound. We are taking the waveform of the guitar and literally shaping it on the fly. So even though, of course, the program and the computer are digital, in many ways this effect behaves in a very analog way. So what does that mean? Well, the network was only trained on single guitar and piano notes. But, of course, a guitar can do a lot more than that. So, what happens if we play a chord? And what happens if we play a harmonic note? And what happens if we slide up the neck of the guitar? What happens if we bend the note? And what happens if we play hammer-ons? What would happen if you actually ran a piano through the network?
What happens if we put our voice into the neural network? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Unlock Lemon! Now, not all of these sound great, but they're interesting because it's a neural network that was only trained on some things trying to learn how to interpret new things. It, might, it may not be the most straightforward sounding, but it's definitely something unique. One time I was playing around with raising the input gain from the guitar into the network, and then I started playing some harmonics, and then this sound happened. That's a great uh, a way to do a clickbait thumbnail for this video. I plugged in my guitar and this sound happened? What sound came out of the guitar? He made this sound with what? Which is just so great, because the neural network has no concept of notes, or pitches, or instruments, or even sound, how sound works. It just knows... and... and it's just trying to figure out the rest. So, obviously, this thing is a bit gnarly, it's a little finicky, but I wanted to share it with you as it is right now, because it is wild. And also, maybe you can help me improve it. For those curious, the model is actually relatively straightforward. It's just a sequential network with some leaky relus. There's no GAN going on here, so lots of room for improvement. But this isn't just a neural network project. It's a music project. It's an idea project. So if you have any ideas, toss them at me or, you know, just run with them. Right now, there's three ways you can use this, depending on how familiar you are with neural networks and Python. Uh, but you can find all of them at tomlum.com slash deepwavebend. If you have no idea what a neural network is, but you just want to make weird guitar sounds, you can plug your guitar into your computer and actually go to that website and play with it in your browser. It's a little bit finicky. It's a more like smaller experimental version to fit on the browser, but it works. If you're familiar with running Python, you can go to that website and find the full version that I use in this video. And if you're familiar with how neural networks work, you can go to that link and find the Google Colab notebook that I used to train it. And if enough people are into this, I might look into making an easier to use standalone app or maybe even a real physical guitar pedal, but we'll see. But yeah, that's the video. Thanks for watching. If you're more curious about the process of this and the trials and tribulations and the lessons I learned along the way, you can check out part two, uh, which is already out. It goes a lot more in depth into the process and the lessons from working on a project like this. But yeah, there we go. Y'all keep learning and growing and teaching and pushing and speaking out. Peace all. Also, here's what I'm working on next. We'll see if it happens. <laughs>